Nyahoy! And welcome aboard the sea, monkey. I've got dimes for days, but my copper stack's a little whack. Let's fix that. Good morning, YouTube stacking and coin collecting family. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for joining me again, and if you are new here and like what you see, feel free to smash that little red button down below and click the bell icon to be notified of any future content. Alright, let's see, what are we doing today? Oh, it's $15 a week challenge day. And you're all probably wondering where I've been. Um, I've been fighting a toothache the last week, so that's where I've been. I've had a gnarly, gnarly toothache, and I had no interest in setting up or making videos or editing and talking, so I took a break. Uh, my last video was on the premiere train on Saturday. That was my first time on there, and that was pretty fun. Um, I did do two quick videos earlier today. They were breaking news videos regarding the Morgans at the U.S. Mint and how they've been postponed. So if you are interested in that, go ahead and check back on my page. There's some information there. So this video is week 20 of the $15 a week challenge. And uh, I'm feeling better. So let's get to it. As I was saying, I've got dimes for days, and you guys are probably tired of seeing those, so we will look at some copper. Uh, let's see, I was coming into this week with 1539, and I spent 1333 uh, between the three items plus their shipping. It was a four item purchase, it was four different auctions uh, from the same seller. I took one out because that would have put me over, but uh, I did get four, di or, yeah, four different items, uh, and here are three of them. And you have seen these before, I've briefly showed them off and I've had them back here in my background in my display, but uh, First off, we're going to go ahead and go with the 2 ounce copper constitutional right to bear arms. And I need to get a capsule for this because it is sitting here getting kind of toned on the, the corners here and around the lettering. Starting to want to scuff up a little bit. But, uh,. We've got no free man shall ever be debarred the use of arms. The Second Amendment reads a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And this is two ounces of three nines fine copper from the Golden State Mint. They do really nice work. I'm a pretty big fan of their products. They've got nice, clean designs, as you can see. <clears throat> and this one was... I don't have access to the info right in front of me. I should have wrote it down. But this one was like five and a half bucks. I think five fifty plus one sixty eight shipping was this one. And so we've got the two ounce right to bear arms. I've had this one back here in the background for you guys to look at. And so now we're going to add it to the chest. Well, I'm not going to put it in there until I get a capsule for it. But I did get capsules for these guys. Here's the one ounce Apollo 11. And this is uh, commemorating the 50th anniversary. And uh, again, a nice clean design from Golden State Mint. And 
and they've got these in copper, silver, proof silver, antiqued, and, and whatnot. And I'm going to go ahead and get the set eventually. But I'm a fan of space stuff, and I like this one. Pretty simple design on this side. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. July 20th, 2019. One ounce of three nines fine copper for the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11. And this one I want to say was 2.95 plus like 90 cents shipping. It really doesn't matter the exact breakdown. The total is 13.33 for the week. So, and then finally, my least favorite in the strike um you know as i was mentioning these ones have a real nice clean strike and clean design to them this one's not so clean it's a little wonky and soft looking but it's also from some unknown mint so this is part of the uh, dinosaurs some kind of I don't remember the exact name of this series um, there's an ice age series and then there's the dinosaur series that kind of goes along with it and these are in copper and I think this one is a dollar 95 plus like 50 cents shipping and I got this one for the kiddo and you can kind of see a little soft in the the strike but I mean it's probably meant to be that way it's got some good detail I mean it's not it's not horrible it just looks a little I don't know quickly done knocked out real fast I don't know how to explain it it's just definitely not as crisp and clean of a of a design is that so if you get what I'm trying to say and the copper is a lot more red a lot more pink so anyways there's the three pickups I've got for this week four ounces of copper two there and two there and of course I've got those two from the previous pickup those are the the gears and globe rounds that I got and uh, yeah this is this is week 20 uh, 1333 spent that leaves me like 209 or something like that 206 I'll have to go back and look but got a couple of bucks to roll over till next week and uh, I'll probably go ahead and use the dimes next week and then uh, I'll go back to some of this these other coppers that I've picked up and uh, I actually need to go shopping <laughs> so anyways as you can see I did pick up one of these fancy schmancy little metal merchant mats they are $40 from the metal merchant uh, 42 something shipped um, and this thing is huge, man. It's almost three feet long and almost two feet wide. Um, it's practically a baby yoga mat. So, I mean, you could, you could set your computer keyboard and your mouse on there and have plenty of room to do both if you were gaming and wanted to do that. It's plenty big enough for a nice big spread on your display for your videos and uh, yeah it's a uh, really good quality it kind of does have a little bit of a strong smell so I would advise that if you are sensitive to smells chemical smells maybe uh, if you're gonna get one go ahead and set it up outside on a table for the day in the Sun and uh, let it air out um, I've had mine set up in my room now for a week and every time I walk past it I do kind of smell a little bit of a vinyl, vinyl -y, chemically 
smell. It doesn't bother me, but I know some people are sensitive, so just thought I'd throw that out there if you are sensitive. It does have a smell to it. It's not bad, but it is there. It's not like going into Harbor Freight Tools. You don't get a headache as soon as as soon as soon it hits your nostrils, or at least it doesn't do that to me. So, <laughs> Anyways, 10 minutes in and I'm starting to ramble because I don't have anything else for you. That's everything. What are you, what are you still doing hanging around? I don't have anything else for you. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and we'll throw these in there and we'll throw these on there and we will move the display pieces out similar to what Aloha does, keeps his weekly pickup piece out in the display for the week. I don't necessarily do that but Go ahead and rotate the gears and globes into the chest. Put those up on the stands. Move the chest over here with the rest of that stuff. And we will call it a video. Links for Cheshire Keith, Golden Spike Stackers, and Heads or Tails Living amongst the other links for other members that are doing the challenge as well will be down below so go ahead and stop by their channels and check them out show them some love check out their $15 a week challenge videos and see what they've managed to pick up everybody gets a little something different and it's just kind of an exercise in discipline make sure you don't overspend and keep consistent that's pretty much it consistently spend the same amount every week see what you can get I think uh, last total I was at eight and a quarter ounces of silver and so now I'm at four six ounces of copper plus a little bit of clad but uh, yeah not too bad all right guys that's everything like I said that I have for you tonight and uh, I encourage you all to hit that little red button and ring that bell because analytics say 60% of you haven't done that. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. I don't know if uh, I don't know if private subscriptions has anything to do with that or not, but yeah. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Have a good night and God bless.